Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a jeans business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a jeans business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Step 1. Begin by researching product trends that appeal to your customers. While luxury denim items are consistently popular, the trends surrounding them are constantly evolving. Your line's trend predictions should be based on a thorough analysis of past and present denim trends, which will provide you with a solid understanding of how the product style has developed and inspire your designs. Pay attention to the trends that resonate with the luxury sector versus those that are exclusive to the mass market. To start your design forecast research, it is recommended that you first identify your target market and use this information to plan which products your line will offer. Then, conduct research on the denim fabrics and styles that your target market prefers. Keep in mind that different age groups, genders, and market segments have varying preferences. Determine which washes, textures, colors, zippers, and embellishments will be included in your line, as well as the thickness of the denim fabric. For jeans, shoes, and jackets, it is advisable to use denim fabric that weighs around 12 to 14 ounces per square yard, while for shirts, blouses, and denim accessories, lighter denim fabric weighing around 10 to 14 ounces per square yard is preferred. Step 2. Gain an understanding of the expenses involved in denim fabric production. The process begins with the cultivation of cotton, which is then transformed into thin strings by fabric producers. These strings are spun into thick yarn and treated with dye before being woven into denim fabric. As expected, the production of this durable fabric is costly. For instance, it costs around $50 per pair to manufacture true religion jeans. However, consumers are willing to pay a premium for high-quality denim products. As a result, it is acceptable for designers and brands to charge higher prices for denim apparel than for clothing made from other materials. If you sell jeans for less than $100, it may raise consumer suspicion rather than attracting them. It is recommended that you collaborate with manufacturers who are known for producing high-quality and long-lasting apparel, rather than those based in countries with frequent workers' rights violations, such as Bangladesh, where low-quality jeans can be produced for as little as $4 to $5 per pair. Quality is the top priority for most denim consumers, and they are willing to pay more for it. Step 3. Create a plan for your product specifications. It's recommended that you focus on producing one or two types of denim apparel to start with. This approach will enable you to concentrate on designing unique styles while maintaining your brand's quality manufacturing standards. To design your denim product specifications, consider the following questions. 1. How much durability and stretch should your products have? 2. How heavy or thick should the denim feel? 3. Which washes, textures, or colors will complement your line's look? Here are some of the most popular types of denim and how designers typically incorporate them into their apparel tech packs. And final products. 1. Raw, raw denim fabric is the best choice if you're aiming for the authentic denim appearance. It hasn't been treated or washed, giving it the classic blue denim appearance. This type of denim is frequently used in jackets and jeans. 2. Selvage. Selvage denim is one of the most durable denim types, with clean edges and a fringe appearance. This type is typically used for jackets and jeans. 3. Stretch. Stretch denim, made with a spandex fiber on top of normal lycra, is very stretchy and form-fitting. It is commonly used for skinny jeans. 4. Poly. Poly denim fabric, which is made of a blend of polyester, cotton, nylon, and other fibers is very soft and comfortable. It is commonly used for jackets, shoes, and jeans. 5. Acid wash. Acid washed denim has a stippled appearance due to being treated with acid that gradually eats away at the dark blue dye. It is commonly seen in jeans and jackets. 6. Crushed. Crushed denim is made with a velvet-like weave, which makes it extremely comfortable, stretchy, and durable. It is commonly used for jeans and jackets for a more casual look and feel. 7. Sanferized. Sanferized denim is one of the softest types of denim fabric, making it a popular choice for jeans. However, while it has softness and stretch, it lacks the durability of other denim fabrics. 
Step 4. Introduce your denim line to customers. Once your denim products are designed and manufactured, it's time to bring them to the market. For emerging designers, getting your line in stores might seem challenging, but with effective marketing and networking, you can reach customers directly through sales. Look for opportunities to expand your line and consistently create and sell your products. In the beginning, the most common ways to gain exposure are by reaching out to high-end social media influencers to wear your line or advertising through social media. As you develop more products over time, consider incorporating recognizable style features into your denim products to make them stand out from the competition. This could include unique zippers, pocket designs, or jeans and jackets with no pockets. Create a distinct brand identity that appeals to luxury customers, but remain open to adapting to the changing fashion trends of your market. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a jeans business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.